Hi, I'm Mark Camosio from Gunmark TV, and uh, I've got here the this is the Crow Devil Springer, um, but in the walnut stock. Now I've not seen this version before, and um, I was quite impressed with this. The minute you get it out of the box, it's just got, it's got a feel of the old for me a favourite gun in the um, 80s. I, I never had one, but the Mercury S, very nice little attractive um, brake barrel. With, with walnut and this has got a you know it's, a, it's quite a similar profile um but yeah so so it is the traditional brake valve format um which is just great fun to use you know these are these are super beginners guns but it's a good little this the performance on this was um quite up to sort of fairly close range hunting as well um so it's a nice little sporter so yeah what your features you've got um you've got a all as a sort of Com uh, polymer sort of compound um, uh, sort of cocking you could see that as a cocking lever but obviously also integral to that is the foresight now the, they're open sights um, or what you call like iron sights with these um, but they're the fiber optic type so you've got the little colored elements and they really accentuate the, the sight picture pick up any available light you've got a nice red uh, yeah, obviously that, that's a slight weakness I suppose because it could do with a little hood as they often you know give them on these sort of type of rifle um, which would protect that but just be mindful of that because that's a bit of a weak area but very nice picture um, so that's your full sight moving back you can see you've got a fully adjustable um, that's got a metal cast um, body to it fully adjustable nice finger friendly you've got finger wheels for um, windage and elevation and again, the fiber optic picture is created by the green elements here. So the combination of the two, you, it really is um, quite a nice sight picture. I'd always recommend with this style of gun, if you're starting out especially, stick with the open sights and issue. Don't rush to put any scope on because you can, the sight, these sights are good enough um, and you can really learn a lot about the, the basics of good shooting and marksmanship. And then when you find you're getting performance, you know, that's, that's pleasing, move on and get a scope and obviously if you want to get a scope here you've got a nice length of um, scope dovetail rails on the top uh, I've actually got a mini I've I've added that in um, that's a little sports match block I think we've shown before but um, they're meant to sort of adapter rail blocks but they're also they double up as an arrestor block so put your split ring mounts on and then it's probably best in front of the front one but it can be either put that little block right up against it and that should eliminate um, what you'd call scope creep so the movement under recoil um, where the scope just starts to to move down the rails but yeah add something like that in fairly inexpensive and it, that solves the problem uh, so we've got our scope set up with these you've got quite a short cylinder so it's worth bearing in mind get a compact scope so it's not going to foul that breech as you cock the action um, but yeah otherwise it's um You've got everything you need there moving down we've got a um, two-stage trigger fairly basic unit but on this as I say the pull weight is is quite good it's not um, not overly heavy uh, there is some creep and you just pull through that but take your time it's quite a usable and for this um, sort of grade of air gun quite a pleasant trigger then you've got an in guard safety there that's totally manual so if you've cocked it and you think right I want to I, I don't want to take the shot you just simply do that to apply it but as I say I, I'm not I wouldn't recommend doing that I'd take the shot and don't be you know you could that's about the safest approach but it's it's not annoying there because it is manual so you can ignore it which is which is perfect um, you can see the laser applied checkering on this um, all quite nicely done you've got plenty of grip there and then moving back you've got a rubber fairly basic but it's quite a good um, if, if you can feel plenty of grip on that so that's gonna um, hug your shoulder as you take the shot fairly low profile I'll just show you because actually it is in theory this is right hand dedicated because you see it's flat there and you've got your raised comb um, on the other side so it, 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 it's the definition is so slight that um, it's as good as ambidextrous if you've just wanted people to have a go and use it as a starter pack <clears throat> now there's it's got an unusual sort of taper you see as a taper to that four end so it's wider at the front wider at that end and it tapers down but um all works quite well 
quite a neat little rifle. Now over the chronograph with this, I mean consistency wise was very impressive and with several brands of pellet, I think I had uh, six feet per second. Uh, I think I used air arms Diablo actually by the end of it, but anything I put through it seemed to be consistent. But a 10 shot string was six feet per second, which is pretty superb when you think about it. Um, the other thing I'd say about, I mean this one's pushing the limit, so it's a full power rifle. Um, and they're quite lightweight, it's, but on my scales it was 6.2 pounds, which is nice and light as well. So all in all, um, quite a good performing, pleasant little rifle. Right, we're outside now with the Crow Devil. Um, it's, it's in this rather nice walnut stock. Um, so yeah, it's a brace, it's a standard, um, I use the word basic, but it's just to describe the action. I still love these things, but the, the basic brake barrel design. So, hold the gun. The key thing with these, obviously, make sure you've got it somewhere secure in your groin like that, so it can't be out of control. You've got a grip there in the middle, and then jolt the barrel down. If, you ever, if they're ever a bit tough to do, just bang them on your knee and that gets it open. But this is actually very easy to, um, to open there. So, we're opening the breech all down in one. A pretty easy, um, very it's an almost effortless cock, cocking stroke. That's not bad at all, and surprisingly smooth as well. Um, and then you're going to chamber through. Let's get the pellet. You see, this one's a two-two. Chamber your pellet home. Key thing with these: always do it nice and flush, because you don't want the um, pellet to get bent, and it's got to be lower than the O-ring ideally. So just press that in. You can feel it go flush. Um, it's a very nice feel to all of this. Um, so that's it, once you've got your pellet home, that's, it. that's an opportunity to check your pellet as well. If it's a bent one, just throw it away. Lock the barrel up, and then you're away. Now in here, we've got an in-guard trigger. That is manual, um, if I remember correctly. So that's setting it, but it didn't automatically come on. So if you don't want to use it, um, I'm not a great fan of safeties. You can just ignore it, but it's in the perfect place. So then we'll take the shot. Just do a few more, Let's see the action and go. Particularly smooth cocking effort on this. So I'm just pushing the pellet home, lock it up. And the, um, as I probably said earlier, the, the trigger's quite smooth on this as well. Again, a very basic unit, but it's you can feel some creep, you go through it, and it's not harsh at all. The final release isn't that heavy, and it's pretty good. There's a fair bit of twang with this. That's going to vary a fair bit with these from model to model out the box. And obviously a bit more lube on the spring, and that will kill a lot of that noise. So yeah, it's a bit twangy. The recoil's very modest. Uh, it's mainly a bit of spring noise there, but performance is, is pretty good so you have to say so what and then it's as far as you want to take it you can take these apart lube them up um, play around with the internals very cheaply and you dramatically improve um, you know the sort of sound and feel of it as it is easy cocking and um, these perform pretty well so that's the uh, Crow Devil in Walnut thanks very much indeed to uh, Range and Country Shooting Sports uh, based in Sleaford um, for the loan of the uh, the kit here, um, they're the only uh, premier day state dealer in Lincolnshire apparently. But um, yeah, much appreciated. Mm -hmm.